Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Alpha Ambassador for Australia. Now you've joined me on Prince's Pier in Port Melbourne here. Uh, the sun has set about 10 minutes ago. Uh, I'm filming with the A7S at uh, 3200 ISO and I'm just about to head out with the A7S and the A7R to do some low light stills photography. Now I'm going to be using the FE 1635 uh, f4 lens and I'm going to be pushing, I expect, well beyond the 6400 ISO um, level. Okay. We're going to see whether um, the A7R can stack up with the reputation for the A7S as being uh, the low light king of both video photography and also perhaps stills photography as well. Now this is going to be a, a real world example, so uh, I'm not going to be photographing white walls or, or uh, bricks or whatever. I'm just going to be photographing uh, that ship that's uh, firing up behind me. And I'm going to get up uh, nice and close. There's uh, some good dark tones there and also some bright highlights. And so uh, we're going to process those images. I'm going to apply a little bit of uh, sharpening, a little bit of noise reduction, and uh, then export the images as 4K files. And we'll do the comparison uh, with the 4K side, uh, files side by side. And if there is a, a, a significant advantage for the A7S, we should be able to see that. Okay, now we're going to be pushing uh, well beyond some cameras limits here. This uh, A7R will um, go up to 25,600 ISO and again that is a little bit more or higher than some other cameras uh, will actually push without going into artificial high ISO. Okay, but the obviously the A7S will push uh, well beyond that as well. Now we may not need that because I will probably uh, finish uh, um, shooting uh, just as uh, the full night sets in and there's no twi twilight uh, sky left. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to head out over to Station Pier behind me and uh, I'll show you the images uh, when they're processed. Okay, cheers. Okay, it was a great evening and I got some really nice shots. Um, in order to see uh, which camera performed the best, it's probably worth jumping over to my Flickr gallery that I've set up. Okay, if you uh, pushed me, I'd have to say that the A7S obviously performed uh, better than the A7R. Okay, uh, the, the amount of difference, uh, some might say it's close, but I would probably say it's in the region of uh, the similar sort of jump from APS-C to full frame. Again, I think we have that same sort of jump from the A7R to the A7S. But make your own mind up, take a look at the examples and, uh, and uh, let me know what you think.